If you love decorating with poinsettias, then this is the video for you. I have created my tablescape and I'm using some items that I did a video on for DIY for candle holders as well as a centerpiece. And so I've created a tablescape around those items and I'm gonna show those to you. What I do wanna share with you first of all is the inspiration for this poinsettia table set that I have. And that is this placemat that I picked up over the summer uh, from an estate sale. It's just beautiful, nice deep rich colors in there. I got them and of course I knew that at some point that I would need them to uh, decorate a table. So this is the inspiration that I'm using. Uh, the tables, the colors are just gonna be so saturated and that saturation is going to start with the tablecloth that I have on. The tablecloth that is on the table to start the layering is a deep green. So that just lets you know just how much of that saturation is gonna be in this room. And then I also have the deep red colors of the poinsettias along with the gold a DIY candlestick holder that I spray painted this gold. Um, I've got some fresh floral back there too. I got a lot going on with this video. I am gonna come back, I'm gonna show you how I put the place setting together. And then of course, I'm gonna take you around and show you everything else that I've done for this tablescape. Give you my reasons for the why and how I designed my thought process on that. Again, to give you some inspiration as you're decorating for the holiday. You can also pare down, although these are pretty tall, you can pare this down to what works for you in your home. So I'll be right back. Welcome back. So the first thing that I wanna show you as I start to put down this play setting, again, is this wonderful poinsettia uh, placemat that I picked up. I'm gonna put that down on the table first. Next thing I'm gonna add to this place setting is this red plate, deep red color. It's just gorgeous. Something that I've had um, for, for quite a while, for years as a matter of fact, uh, that I think would just go real well with this tablescape. So I'm going to add that down there. And the one thing that I'm not going to do, and you'll notice that as you go around the table, I do not want to cover up that Noel. I want that poinsettia, I want the word Noel, I want that to be front and center on this tablescape. So my placement of the plate is going to be a little bit off center on the mat, but that is because I want to make sure that that beautiful embroidery can be seen throughout dinner service. The next thing I'm going to add to this is a bowl. Now, usually it may be off of the mat, but today exceptions are coming into decorating for the holidays. I'm going to set this on the plate, not in the middle, but up in the corner. Again, the reason why I wanna do that is that I wanna keep that uh, Noel, that poinsettia, I wanna keep that visible. Now I'm gonna come in with some deep green napkins that I got from Amazon. Perfect for this. And then also I'm gonna add to that, that pretty poinsettia napkin ring. And just real simple on this one, just pull it right through. And I open it up just a little bit because of the way that I want it to set on the table. I am going to actually put this diagonally on top of the plate. I'm using my gold flatware here, just all gold, no other colors with that, um, because I think it's just blending in just wonderfully with this design that I have. I've got my knife and I've got my spoon, and I'm gonna add those over on this side. The drinking glass that I'm gonna to add to the table next, I just wanna give you a real good close-up of that with that red rim around there and a lot of gold embellishments in there. Just absolutely beautiful. Even all the way down to the bottom of the glass, you've got that red and gold in there. I got this years ago as well. Um, I love to shop my home. I say that all the time. I think it just saves so much money, saves you so much time and you find out that you just have some lovely items. You don't have to wait for the holidays to use your good items 
and celebrate. You could bring them out at any time and just have a nice surprise for your family. Set a nice table, tablescape for them, table setting with some of your china, some of your nice glassware, and just enjoy a nice meal. So I'm going to add this glass to the table right up here. And you know, of course, I always have my salt and pepper shakers for my guests um, for their individual use. So this is how uh, this placemat looks. And it's, of course, duplicated all the way around the table. You know, I'm gonna take you around the table and show you how everything looks. I wanna show you these lovely candle holders, the centerpiece, and some of the other items that I have on the table, along with the fresh floor back there. Hang in there and I'll be right back. Here's a look at the place setting now that everything is all back together. And this is duplicated all the way around the table. You see immediately how much of the color saturation is built into this design for this tablescape with the deep red of the plate and the bowl. And then you've got that gold accent there along with a deep green on the uh, napkin and then the layering started off with another dark green tablecloth. Now this is one of the candle holders that I made as a DIY. I hope you get a chance to go back and see that video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to link it to this one to make it easy for you. I did a DIY using uh, this tall, uh, I'm going to say candle holder. I thrifted that item. It's about 30 inches tall. And what I did, I painted it gold and got it ready for uh, this center or candle holder. Um, now to that, I added poinsettias that I had on hand made, what I'm calling a no glue candle holder DIY. Everything in here, you can take it apart when you're done and just pack it away and maybe look to use it for decorating uh, another time in your home for the holidays. I added a nice uh, candle in there, LED. It's handy to set a timer on those candles because sometimes you might just kind of forget. That way um, you're not uh, using up your battery, but you're still being able to have some light on the table. And if you forget to turn them off, then your timer will come in there and do that work for you. This is the other DIY that I did in the same video. And this is the centerpiece full of the beautiful poinsettias that I used on a candle holder, a lot of greenery. I like to use at minimum three different types of greenery when I'm doing either a fresh floral or something like this, more faux. I still incorporate as much of the greenery as possible. So I hope you get a chance to go back and see that once again. Um, you can use any color that you want to make it fit for your design. Uh, of course, for this, I'm doing the red poinsettias and just how gorgeous that just fits right in the middle of the table. And I just use a lot of the items that I had and I've had for years. That way, I'm not going out to buy anything, just going through um, my buckets <laughs> and just pulling out and using the items so that I can get more from my money when I do my DIY. And as you see, I place the centerpiece in the middle with the candle holders, one on each side. They're nice and tall. I set the table for six this way. Um, because I thought it would be a good way again for your guests, my guests, to uh, have good conversation. They'll be able to see beyond the tall candle holders because they're so tall and they're thin at the bottom, so they're not taking up a lot of space. And then for the centerpiece, I created that on a low level again, something to decorate the table with, to pull everything together but also to make it ease of conversation for my guests. And then on the wall, the area that I always like to decorate, I added um, something that I created a few years ago. And what I did was I stretched some velvet fabric over a canvas and just made it 
you, uh, a gift, a present, <laughs> by uh, incorporating some deco mesh and then pulling in a red poinsettia to match the ones that I have on the table. I also created a fresh floral arrangement to decorate the corners of my dining room. I love to decorate the corners. It's just so much space back there, so it allows me to be very creative um, when I'm decorating a tablescape for my dining room. So here I uh, got a huge poinsettia, and what I did was I kind of pushed it back a little bit in the middle and then I added a vase down in there in the middle and I added a lot of the floral in there and these are some um, artificial uh, holly berries but they work real well I wanted to put some white in there to kind of break up um, the saturation of the red and green on these poinsettias and then I also went in and I added some more greenery down at the bottom uh, to fill that out I add some sparklies there and then I tied some red material nice glittery material around just to make a quick uh, sash a bow on that and I added some more greenery around the top and I go through each day and just kind of shake the poinsettia is a little bit so that the dead leaves will fall off and any other leaves that aren't looking so good I'll go ahead and pick those off and spray it just so to keep it looking nice and fresh. And with adding the greenery down at the bottom it just really took it to the next level for me. Just really gives it that custom design look and I just wanted to share that with you give you some inspiration when you're looking at doing something just a little bit different uh, as part of your decorating. The backdrop that I created on the back wall, I just uh, wrapped uh, some canvas in wrapping paper and then I added the ribbon and I made just a little bit of an arrangement in the middle with some deco mesh, some of the poinsettias and some of the greenery that I use as part of the centerpiece and the candle holder. So I hope that this tablescape gives you some inspiration for anything that you're going to be doing for the holidays to add to your decorations. Check out the DIY on this candle holder and the DIY on the centerpiece for more inspiration and actually instruction on how to put those items together without using any glue. I hope that you like this video. I hope that the red, the green, and the gold will inspire you for whatever you're creating for the holidays for your home. And share this video with your friends and your family and give them some ideas as well. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe and be part of the Mimi Made It by Ladia family, hit the subscribe button. I would certainly appreciate that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the deep colors of the red and the green for the holidays. You could also incorporate uh, a different color into this tablescape as well. Pretty much make it whatever you want. However, it will fit into your decor. That is what is important. Well, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And as always, whatever you do and wherever you go, be blessed. Thank you.